What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you how you can improve your aim in CS2. It's been quite a while since I made my previous map install guide, and since then, the Steam Workshop has now come into full force, so it's much easier to install maps. If you were practicing your aim in CSGO, you probably came across Recoil Master for CSGO from none other than Uletical. It's been quite a while, but I'm a bit late to this too. In the start of December, this new map was released, Recoil Master spray training for CS2. This map is actually super powerful and will teach you a lot if you're currently not comfortable spraying in CS2. All you need to do is sign in or open this in your Steam browser, search for it on the workshop, then subscribe to it down here. To find it on the Steam workshop, head to CS2, then click workshop here and search for it in the top right as such where we'll find it here and we can simply hit the plus or expand it and subscribe to it here. Just like that, in a few moments, the download will begin and as soon as it's done, fire up the game. Then we'll head across to play at the very top, followed by workshop maps and right over here, you'll see Recoil Master. Simply select it and go. When you load in, simply look to your left and head into the Recoil Master section here. When you do, you can pick one of these from the side. When you do, it'll update the spray pattern here. Essentially, you'll be following this green dot, which moves while you're holding left click. If you'd like to move it automatically, you can use the play button over here that starts moving it automatically. That's it. It'll keep going over and over so you can practice it without actually doing anything just yet. If we use the reset button, it'll get rid of all of the marks on the screen as such. And if we don't hit play, we can simply follow the pattern ourselves as we're going. And as soon as we let go, it'll reset. At this point, you can analyze your spray pattern to see where things would have landed relative to player models, as well as how accurate you are within a certain area. If I were to crouch, you can see it's a lot easier to control, but once again, you'll be studying the spray pattern of whatever you choose. Whenever you choose something, it updates automatically, which makes it super easy to learn what exactly is going on. On the far right, you can enable bullet time for slow motion, and you'll see that things really slow down, so you can practice as slow as you'd like, although it's a bit too slow. Turn it off by hitting it once more, and of course, the rest of the options are pretty self-explanatory. We can toggle show impacts, so you see bright red boxes instead, dummy target which shows you actually what's happening if you look up at the very top pretty cool infinite ammo and finally recoil crosshair this one is probably one of the weirdest options in that when you use it it enables your dynamic crosshair which is kind of annoying you can see how it might be able to help you but to be honest it just throws me off anyways to each their own this is pretty cool on the far left we can change the color of the dot that moves around if for some reason you find green difficult to see different ghost hair settings which is essentially what you're looking at here the first mode is with the red trail second which is just the dot finally the third is the dot and one trail marker ahead of it cool it's then size to make it smaller or bigger and finally position to toggle one on the left and right at the back over here you'll find some more info on what the map is and learn a bit about it and if we head down this passage you'll see some unique items that's it it's a pretty powerful map and something really good to come to not only to warm up but of course to learn the spray patterns if you're not yet comfortable with them once again you'll find this map linked in the description down below. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name is Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!